Hello everybody. Super excited to show you this alien I'm doing. Um, I wanted to, ever since I went to Hobby Lobby and I got them glass beads, I've been dying to give them a chance, you know, to try them out. So, for me the easiest way to do that is to just make a quick little alien head. And I did, th I did this yesterday. Um, believe it or not, this is about two hours worth of work. And I have it all on film for you. Starting this off, I'm just using a block of wood, a screw, a screwdriver, and a thick piece of copper wire. And that right there is a mixture of clay. It's actually a 50-50 mixture of Super Sculpey and Super Sculpey Firm, which is really, really good. I'm really liking that so far. It's quite a bit of work to mix, you know, a pound of that with a pound of uh, the other. It takes forever to do. But anyways, I just, you know, drill a hole, I put my little copper wire in there and, you know, anchor it down with a screw and work it with my aluminum foil. It's a great bulking agent, keeps the sculpture lighter and uh, saves you money. Always, I always use aluminum foil. And I'm trying to get it to the general shape of the alien I was wanting to make. Uh, just to take up the most of the the bulk of the clay. I might add a lot to this uh, for all I know but it's just to get me going. And like usual I'm working with sheets. This is the thickest setting of the pasta machine. I love working with sheets of clay and like you know even even measured pieces like snakes and stuff you'll see me roll out some snakes uh, or logs whatever you want to call them they're really really good to work with because you can cut you can just keep adding pieces of clay where you want and try to keep a uniform see how I roll them out and a lot of times when I use these snakes or logs whichever one you prefer um, they're just like guides to help me build out areas in a, in a way where I can see I see it on paper or like a reference or something but for a lot of people it might be difficult to try to make that happen on the clay but if you use guides and measured pieces and stuff it's a lot easier like those were identical pieces I'm using it for the, the cheekbone you know just put them on there and then you know work from there for me that's that's how I do it you know there's there's a lot of ways you can sculpt and stuff but this is how I do like that eyebrow or the socket bone or whatever you want to however you want to look at that that's a guide I basically put that log on there and then backfilled them on both sides and that gives me the general de definition of what I want right there and then the beads These beads are going to make my sculpture look so much better because they're shiny, they have a little bit of depth to them, and they're same size and everything, and they're just really, really nice. And it's my first time using any, so turns out they were in Hobby Lobby all this time, three aisles away from where I was shopping, and I've been looking for these things for years. I'm glad to finally have found some because I can make a whole bunch of these things. Like I said, this is just two hours of film. Of work. But I did clean it up for about an hour, you know, to show you the opening presentation that you seen at the beginning of the video. But you can see how they they're used as guides with my particular style of sculpting. And this guy, this sculpture, this alien, I'm making him where he's really like grumpy or grouchy or upset. Like maybe he didn't get his coffee for the morning or something. Who knows, but it's got a lot of personality to it so far. Even 
as early as it is in its um, sculpting stage. I'll probably wind up putting a jacket around them or something to do something around the neck. I'm going to build the neck out a little bit more. But all in all, this turns out uh, pretty cool so far, and I'm really, really excited, as always, and looking forward to what you have to say. So just drop me a comment, and don't forget to thumbs up the video, you know, show a little support, and I will see you here again soon. Thank you so much for watching.